Hello everyone, welcome to Lead Code Challenge. Today I am going to discuss the problem smallest string with a given numeric value. In fact, this is the problem from the uh, from today's uh, weekly challenge. So this is as you can see this is a medium level question. So let's uh, get ahead to the problem description. The numeric value of a lowercase character is defined as its position. So uh, we have uh, alphabets A to Z, letters A to Z. So we start uh, numeric value of 1 uh, to A and uh, the numeric value of uh, B will be 2 and C will be 3 and so on. The value of uh, Z will be 26. So uh, basically they are assigned uh, the value of their positions A to Z. And uh, we will be given a value that we need to uh, form a string using that value. So uh, let's say we have a string ABE as explained here ABE. So the value of the string will be uh, the value of character A is 1, B is 2 and E is 5. So 1 plus 2 plus 5 equal to 8. And, uh, and when, when we are given a value of uh, K, then we need to form the smallest string that is possible uh, lexicographically. So there may be multiple strings uh, for the given value. For it, let's say uh, we can have A, A, and we can have f instead of abe we can have aaf so that also will have an that also will have a value of 8 but we need to form the string with the smallest uh, i mean lexicographically smallest string so that we need to return as a result so basically uh, we will be given two variables n and k we need to uh, form a string of length n and the string should have a value of k So let's look at examples so that will uh, clear our keywords. So let's say we have n equal to 3, k equal to 27. So we need to form a string which is of 3 characters. And uh, the value of the string should be 27. When you combine, when you add the values of all the characters, you should get a value of 27. And the string that we should form should be uh, the smallest one. So the answer here is a by, a -A -A -Y because uh, let's say uh, let's take some other uh, string which has a value of 27. Let's say instead of a a by let's take a b and x. So a b x also will have a value of 27 because a value of a is 1, value of b is 2, so 1 plus 2 3, 3 plus uh, 24, so 24 is x, so a b x will be equal to 27. But a a y is smaller than a b x because our first characters a and a are same. And second character A is smaller than uh, the second character in the second string ABX. So ABX cannot be the answer. So AAY we need to return. So basically we need to form the smallest string that is possible for the given value K. In the second example we have N equal to 5, K equal to 73. So this is another type of example. So here uh, we have a value of 73. So uh, uh, let's take uh, the string. Let's see the output here is AASZZ. If we uh, basically when we uh, when we have to form the smallest tree, we always should start with the smallest character. So that means we have to start with alphabet A every string. So it is as we have seen in the previous example, the answer is AAY because we started with AAY to get we started with AA because to get a smaller string. So similarly here also we uh, start with AA AASZZ, but uh, here if you see the value uh, is very high k is high but the number of characters that you can use in the string are very small 5 so if you use uh, all uh, alphabets all the letters as a you are going to end up with very small value so you are not going to match the value of string with the given k so to compensate for that we need to use uh, the higher uh, valued letters alphabets like z so we need to use z also to reduce the value of k and so that we can uh, have our string starting with a smaller alphabet like A. So this is one case that we need to take care. And coming to the constraints, the value of n can go from 1 to 10 power 5. So the string length can be a 10 power 5, so it's pretty big. So we are not, we cannot do any O of n square solution. So our solution should be in the order of O of n or O of n log n. No. And the value of k will be uh, 
greater than or equal to n but it will be less than or equal to n star uh, 26 so basically if you have uh, n equal to 5 that means you cannot have a you cannot have a value uh, for k as uh, let's say 5 into 26 so n is 5 so 5 into 26 so uh, it, your value of k cannot be more than 130 because the maximum possible string that you can get with value of n equal to 5 is z z z z z 5 z if you use so that will be uh, value of z will be 26 so 5 into 26 is 130 so you cannot have, you, so you will not be given a value of uh, more than uh, n star 26 in your input so you don't have to worry about that so basically uh, we need to keep two things in mind first thing is we need to start with smaller alphabets so that means a we need to kill as many alphabets of a as possible in our string so that we will get the smallest string possible and at the same time if the value of k is very high compared to the number of uh, characters that we are allowed to use in that case we need to use uh, uh, the alphabet z as much as possible so that we can reduce the value yeah so these two things we need to keep in mind so let's uh, go ahead and write some code let's see the code so we are given n and k so basically first we need to so uh, what we are going to do is we need to fill the string from the right side so we fill as many po uh, possible uh, alphabets of z as well as much as possible we will fill uh, number of uh, z alphabets from the right side then for the remaining uh, value we try to fill uh, as much um, try to fill the alphabet a as much as possible if there is anything remaining we, we need to fit with the uh, corresponding alphabet so let's see how we are going to do it so first we will calculate how many uh, alphabets of uh, how many letters of z we can use so basically the value of z is 26 so the given value is k so we divide by k with 26 and we get a number of z that we can use in the given k and the remainder will be uh, k percent 26 so after using number of z's the remainder will be stored in remainder so we need to fit this remainder with the other alphabets it can be number of a's or it can be some other alphabet now uh, for the given n we have used number of z alphabets so we need to uh, subtract that from the given n so the remaining n positions we need to fill with other alphabets and one more thing we need to uh, remember here is let's say we have a value of uh, 52 and let's say we have a value of 52 and a value of our n is 4 so if you use uh, two z values in our string the value of this string is 26 plus 26 so 52 so we have already used uh, 52 value here so we cannot have uh, four characters in our string that means we need to remove one z in that case we we will be left with 56 minus 26 equal to value of 26 so this 26 can be used to fill other three positions so that we need to remember in that case we need to take it here so that's why we are checking for remainder so if the remainder is uh, less than n that means we have uh, n more positions to fill but the remainder is uh, less than n so we don't have enough value to fill so in that case we need to sacrifice one alphabet of z so we decrease uh, z by 1 and then we increase the remainder with uh, 26 so we continue this loop uh, till we get enough uh, value so that we can fill number of questions for n at the same time we need to increase n because we have uh, reduced one alphabet from the z and we are using it in our n positions and then we need to calculate how many alphabets of a that we can use so let's initialize with 0 then how many basically uh, from the remainder we should try to fill as many uh, positions as possible with alphabet a so that we will get the smallest string so we will do uh, while n minus minus and remainder uh, minus minus so we keep incrementing number of a's so if one of them becomes zero that means there is no remainder that means our value of the string has become zero so we cannot have any further characters 
at the same time if n is 0 that means our all positions have been exhausted exhausted then we will come break out of the loop but if n is 0 uh, it's fine because we have filled all the positions for the string but if the remainder is 0 and if n is still positive that means we are left with no value to fill uh, for the remaining positions so in that case we need to again uh, similar to what we have done with uh, alphabet z we need to remove one, one alphabet from uh, a then use the remain, uh, remainder uh, with some other alphabet so the remainder basically will be a value between a and z so now uh, we have got all the uh, required information so we have got number of a's that we can use in our string those will be placed at the beginning of the string and we have got number of z alphabets that will be placed placed at the end of the string and in between we are going to place the corresponding alphabet that is equal to the value of the remainder so uh, that's what we are doing here so while number of a we fill the uh, resulting string with character a then we are going to place the remainder in between and the remainder basically will be a value of uh, one of the alphabets so value of a plus remainder so if the remainder is uh, 2 it will be basically if the remainder is 1 basically it is a character of b so a plus 1 equal to b similarly if the remainder is 2 it will be alphabet of c so we append that character to result then finally we are going to append the number of z characters at the end and we return the result so let's execute and check I haven't got any input so let's say yeah so output matches the expected output let's submit and see if all the test cases are passing Yeah, so runtime of 68 milliseconds and all the test cases have been passed. 